Hey, oh, duckies. All right, this one's a bit, like, controversial, but not. You're going to think I'm uh, I'm losing the plot, all right? Uh, basically, you know I'm all about organizing my scenes and stuff. Uh, I like to make my content, uh, well, my OBS look really clean, and I have all these dividers in there. Like, I've done videos on how I organize these scenes. I might do a, a, a new one to show you guys some other methods that I've been doing. If you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments. But you'll see all these, like, dividers and stuff like that. Then they're not all the same size like no matter what I do I can't get the the sizes of them to be exactly the same like if I drag some of these together now and show you look they, they don't match up and no matter what I do they, they won't match up in until now until now all right we're gonna go through this we're installing some fonts changing some fonts we're just gonna change how OBS works and it's an OCD heaven so this isn't going to be for everyone in this video but if you've got ocd like me and you want to make things look beautiful then stay tuned all right put your rock over the stone let's go so this one like i say this one's funny in it so if you look at my obs right now you'll see all these scenes here these all have the same amount of characters but they're not even and it, it stresses me out my ocd is just like whoa 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 this needs sorting so we need to change the font inside of obs and this was going to change it globally for obs which is pretty cool so what we'll need to do is shut obs down and we're going to jump into our browser and make sure we get a mono spaced font there's quite a few out there i'm going to leave this google one uh, down below i just want to do a huge shout out to uh for silverlink for putting me onto this because honestly sleepless nights are now resolved thank thank you um so we can download any of these fonts the font that i'm going to use is the one that uh, excel uh, excel Dro, silverlink ah there's so many people um has recommended to me so i'm using ubuntu um mono and you can just download the family just here by this link right there but you can use any mono space font at all so once you've got the font downloaded, you're going to want to install it and everything like that. So you'll just need to run through the, the typical installation steps of double clicking a font. Super easy to do when you download it. You get a file. It's usually a zip folder depending on how many different fonts you've got. Uh, and then it'll bring up a zip file with all these in. All you got to do is double click them and press it install. And that is it. They're, they're already installed. It's super easy. Make sure OBS is closed when you are doing this. Otherwise, it's not going to take into account that you've got a new font so now we need to set up obs okay so setting up obs can be a little bit complex so if you're not a programmer this you might have to use some different tools like notepad plus plus or something like that so you can easily edit some sort of code so we're going to jump over into our obs folder which is normally in the c drive and then program files and then inside of obs studio uh, but mine is in a different file path for this example so once you're in your obs file we're going to jump into data we're going to go to obs studio and then we're going to go into themes and then this is where we need to look for what our current theme is so my current theme that i'm using at the moment is the dark just there so we're going to open this qss file so we're going to right click and edit it with like notepad plus plus or whatever you want to use to to do your um editing it's just so you can easily read different lines of code i'm going to scroll down and we should see q widget right here it's not very far down at all you could do Control f and, and search for q widget um like so and it will search for the next one that is available and certain fonts if you're using a, a, a theme they might not have this next line of code like this one here because it's the default one for obs so we're going to press enter straight after this one and create a new line just here and i'm going to press tab to keep everything in line and we're going to just tell obs what to change the font to so the way we do this is if we just type in just here so if I zoom in for you, font dash family, and then we're going to do a colon, then a space, um, a single um, quote mark, and we're going to type in what the font is that we're using. So if we're using the Ubuntu uh, mono like I downloaded, we type that in there, 
uh, drop another little apostrophe and then we're going to drop in a semicolon. Uh, again, this needs to be whatever your um, font is that you are using. Just type it in there. We can also change the size if we want to as well by adding another line. So if you realize that you open up OBS and it's not very, uh, very big, we can actually type in font dash size colon space apostrophe and whatever size we want say 13 uh, p x because it's in pixels and then always make sure that you close it off with a semicolon obviously um i don't need an apostrophe in this one that was just me being silly ignore that okay uh, and we're just going to save so i'm going to hit uh, Control s to save it and it's going to save that as the dark theme and that is it that is literally it. If we open up OBS now, you'll probably see we've got a brand new font and it looks completely different. Let's make it full screen. And oh my days, they're all the same size. <laughs> That's really exciting. So as I said, if we want to make the font bigger at all, we can close down OBS and we can change this now. Say we'll, we'll bump it up to something silly like 18, for instance. Press save again, control S, and we're going to open up OBS again. And you'll probably see now, everything's pretty big. So the font is much bigger. So this is how you can make minor adjustments to your OBS setup. I mean, look at that. That's like an OCD heaven. Like, oof. 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 But obviously, you can use this tutorial for a lot of different things, changing the font, changing the size, everything like that. It doesn't have to be mono-spaced, but just because of this, this is designed to just ease my mind, all right? So you you guys will love it. You can customize OBS you want, uh, to whatever you like at all. There's a lot of themes out there that you can get as well. I've covered a couple on my... Um, previous tutorials if you just uh, go to the obs website i'm just gonna load it up right now and we'll show you here once on the obs website you can actually press themes and there's a couple of different themes that people have created there i love the pink one may i add uh, but that's pretty much all there is to it have a little play with it make sure you do back up your files though like make sure you just copy them and save them somewhere else just in case you mess it up or anything like that that way if you run into any issues you can just drag them files back and it'll be fixed because I don't want to be held responsible for people like smashing up their OBS, all right? Make sure you do backups of all your scenes and stuff like that. Look after yourself. And yeah, if you want to support the channel, then consider being a channel member here on YouTube or joining on Patreon. The link is in the, the description down below. And if you've got any comments, drop it in the comments or any questions in the comments. That's what I normally say. And that is it. Put your rock over the stone, guys. It's been an absolute pleasure. Much love. I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time, make it free for you guys. And also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.